I've classified over 200 species of fish in my career, but if I ever discover one that resembles the 1970s serial killer Ted Bundy, I'll blow my fucking brains out. My greatest fear is discovering a fish that knows how to read. If a fish can read, it can write. And if it can write, it can write a tell-all book about being a fish. If there's a tell-all book about being a fish, then what do we even need marine biologists for? From there, it's a small leap to all-out genocide. I truly hope I never have the supreme misfortune of discovering a narwhal with a baguette instead of a horn. I imagine the baguette would be incredibly soggy from years of being underwater, and it would flop around looking all nasty and whatnot. That would be awful. There's a creature I once read about that I never want to discover, and it's called a crab. As I understand it, a crab is just like a regular fish, except it has 1,000 legs and is made of solid steel. No marine biologist should ever discover a crab, the alleged love child of a spider and a rock. According to legend, a crab will pinch you as hard as it can, even if you've done nothing illegal at all. It's madness. I saw an imaginary crab in the film The Little Mermaid. It sang with a thick Jamaican accent and colluded with a mermaid to plan a royal wedding. Frank Frankly, it told me more than I ever wanted to know about crabs. Another creature that I never want to discover is two sharks. One shark is scary enough. Can you imagine discovering two of them? I never want to discover a clam in Madagascar because traveling to Madagascar is very expensive. I do, however, hope to discover a clam in Tampa. Flights to Tampa are very affordable, especially in the off-season. Discovering a Tampa clam is incredibly cost-effective, and I hope to do it someday. In school, every aspiring marine biologist is taught never to discover a starfish shaped like the Star of David because doing so would start a religious war. I don't even look at starfish anymore. It's not worth the risk. I once had a dream that I discovered a very elderly porpoise. It had gray hair, wrinkles, and it swam with a cane. In the dream, the wise old porpoise taught me important life lessons about honesty, respect, and the value of hard work. I love that porpoise like a father, but if I ever discovered a creature like that in real life, it would shake me to my fucking core. I hope it never happens. <laughs>